Aloha Aquarius, how are you guys doing? I really hope that this reading finds you well. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Inessa from The Earth Stereo and for those who have been here a long time, welcome back. Um, as usual, this is going to be a relationship spread, meaning that you could always apply this with anyone in your life. It could be with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, exes, crushes, fiance, family members, anyone. I am basically just going to be picking up your relationship energy in general, all right? And don't forget to also check your sun, moon, or Venus sign because I tend to realize that with my readings, I resonate much more with my Venus sign rather than my sun sign, okay? I'm really sorry for the delay. This reading is going to be for your mid-general reading. Um, I didn't do your reading because I was taking like almost two weeks off. I think it was more than two weeks off just to be with my family and my daughter, my Aquarian daughter. So yeah, now I'm back. Let's talk Aquarius. Your overall energy for the now, you have the Devil card in reverse, you have the King of Cups in reverse, and you also have the Princess of Swords. The Princess of Swords is a card that shows about... It's not just trust issues, you know what I mean? You're finding information, you're trying to look for information. Because you feel like something is sticking deep down inside of you. And then you also have the devil card in reverse in here. So I feel like you are releasing yourself from an unhealthy situation that you've been dealing with in the past. The devil card, especially in this particular deck of mine, kind of like talks about a little bit of an obsession. A relationship in which the physical aspect you like so much so it's like you like the way they touch you you like the way that they kisses you the you like the way that they carries you and stuff like that or it could also means about a relationship that is based on physical only without emotional you know what I mean because there's a vice versa in here But you have the King of Cups in reverse in there, so we're talking about you being emotionally kind of like quite imbalanced in the now and not not emotionally open to towards other people. And the reason why that happens is because you have the Six of Cups in here in your challenge sector. Six of Cups, we're talking about somebody that you're dealing with in your past, somebody who you still have a little bit of a nostalgic with, um, a connection that is so, so, so intense for you that you believe that this person is either your twin flame or your soulmate or your karmic relation and stuff like that and you also have the ace of chalices in there Well, well, um, in the now though, you have the tower card in here and then you also have the four of swords. I feel like you're going to be getting the information from a particular special someone that they are having. I'm going to take that card that I dropped. <laughs> I mean, you still see the value of the relationship, but I feel like there's going to be an information exactly what you've been looking for. I mean, you have the Princess of Swords in here, meaning that you have a trust issues and you're dealing, you're doing a little bit of a CIA research, you know, stalking behavior going on, stuff like that. And then when you do that, it's not that they are going to tell you, but you're going to be finding out about something when it comes to them. And it's going to be forcing you to have the Four of Swords attitude, meaning that you're completely going to walk away and stop thinking about them. Although it pains you because you felt like you know the sweet memories of the past was really really sweet for you and something that you cannot replace is something that you keep on replaying inside of your head over and over again but you will choose to walk away you will choose to you know like ugh, I don't want to deal with it um, you still see the value in them okay so what's happening in the past though this person is accepting you cause them pain first you have they have the three of swords in here you cause them pain first You caused them pain first, but the thing about them is that when they were in pain, when they were hurting, 
they accept it like okay this is my final judgment okay there you go okay maybe it was not meant to be maybe it was like this and that and this and that you kind of like hurt them with the three swords in here because they have the three swords and you have the chariot kind of like pointing outside of the relationship so it could either mean that they are hurt because they see you having an attraction towards somebody else or they're just hurt because you know, Sherry Card is some somebody who is very, very strong. Came on really, really strongly, and some. Um, it could be that the way that you communicate, because you're trying to get out of a period of stress and anxieties, this relationship has been fucking you up on your brain a lot, and. And because of that, this hurt them a lot. And they were in a period of isolation in the past with the Four of Cups because they want to maintain the, that emotional stability. And they, they they lost the will to fight. You know what I mean? Like, when that happened, they lost the will to fight. They just wants to sit down inside of their house and then just wait for the rain to pass. Basically, completely isolating themselves away from the situations and becoming very, very protective because they feel like they need emotional stabilities here. So this person, if you're only dealing with one person, I'm going to go with the one person scenario here first, okay? And then after that, we're going to be dealing with two people scenario. Um, if you're only dealing with one person, this person actually only is focusing so much on their money and focusing so much on their independence. So now they are like, they're kind of like planning their life ahead without you okay and then you would probably you have the tower card in here they have a ten of pentacles you're going to be hearing something about them dealing with somebody else and it's going to shock you like a tower card and it's the truth that comes out something that you've been looking for okay and then you're going to want to stop thinking about them all together if you're only dealing with one person this person is going to take shelter away from you like they are going to be completely Seven of Wands and King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, they're going to be completely blocking you and they just, you know, becoming very, very defensive over you. You have the Eight of Cups, but it's for good. I mean, you're going to be mourning the fact that they're pushing you away just a little bit, but it's for your own good, if you know what I mean, uh, Aquarius, because you have the Sun card in here. You're going to hate this reading. It's a very, very negative reading, I know. Hopefully, on um, 23rd, is going to be better reading. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the Sun card, you have... Here, so with the sun card at the end of your reading, we're talking about universe intervention. The universe or God wants you to be one, totally one with yourself. And I felt like you've kind of like lost your uh, sense of self for quite quite a while now. And by them pushing you away, it's actually doing you like a lot of good. Because then you get to listen to your gut feelings. You then get to listen to your intuitions. You then get to listen to what your moon or your emotional needs are. And you know for certain that this person is not giving you that emotional needs that you're looking for, especially in the future. They're going to be the King of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who, I mean, they could be dealing with a King of Pentacles. I mean, they could be dealing with an, with somebody who is like an earth sign or somebody who is much more financially well off, okay? Or it could be them with the King of Pentacles in reverse, meaning that they are not somebody who is as trustworthy as they were before. I think like in the past, you saw them, the good wifey or husband material in them and stuff like that. But now you're starting to see that it's not happening. And then we're having like a little bit of um, Pentacles type of manipulations going on in the future as well, meaning that all of the comfort that they've given you. Uh, things that makes your life easier the details the habits i mean the patterns of the relationship they're going to completely take away from you because they're trying to prove a point and then you don't care because you have the five of wands you would rather lose them than to lose yourself this time so it's a good one actually for your own good it's for the greater good okay but yeah i mean it's it's a present card you have the tower card so if it's not happening now it's going to be happening really really soon that shocking information is the truth that is coming out that is just going to make you be better for yourself okay if you're dealing with two people if you're only dealing with two people person a is the person that okay person a is a, a kind of like a newer person somebody that you dealt with when you were getting out of depressions or when you're getting out of a period where you have like a lot of stress with the relationship that you have with person B. 
okay, that is person A because he was being very, very, he or she was being very, very acceptance and you are getting out of that shadow period of you. In the now though, they have the 10 of pentacles so they feel like everything is going great with you. Everything is doing all right. Okay, but then you have the tower card here. You really do have trust issues in here, Aquarius with the Princess of Swords. You're going to be finding something about them that you don't really like, and then you're going to, that you don't really like the tower moment, you know what I mean? And then you're going to be having like a little bit of a head to head battle with them, and then they're going to be the King of Pentacles in reverse, meaning that the promises that they said that they want to do the plan, the pattern, you know what I mean? Like they're going to kind of like completely take it away from you. Person B is the person who hurt by you. This person was hurt by you. And when you see this person was hurt, you took charge of them with a shared card. Okay. But then you're starting to see, and then now, although you still value this relationship a lot, I mean, you focus a lot on your money in here, the way that I see it, Aquarius. Um, when you come charge at them, you're starting to notice and realize that this person is getting much more independent and then starting to build their life, not with you. You know what I mean? And then it's going to kind of like force you to become the four swords and be like, you know what? It's too painful. Like, I want to have collective happiness with you, but you want to care about your independence only. I think I need to stop thinking about this relationship altogether. Um, this person, person B, is going to take shelters away from you, and then um, you're going to be mourning, and then you're also going to walk away from this relationship because it's no longer emotionally fulfilling for you. It's a good one, though, Aquarius, because by the end of the day, you have a sun card. So we're talking about you being one with yourself, something that you've loved for quite some time now, you know just one you complete aquarius the star card the unique one the the, the somebody that is never fits in but you just shines alone by yourself you always have your own light it's just something that you've been missing for quite a while and i feel like this is what the universe is trying to push you to become okay and not to forget the fact that next year we're going to have saturn in aquarius so it's much more better for you to be focusing on your own self and then now and focus on your money too and what your emotional needs or your moon needs, okay? Rather than just kind of like completely giving and thinking about people who the universe have been trying to tell you all along that this person is not a good fit for you, okay? I know you're going to hate this readings because it's such a negative reading, but I really hope that you enjoy it and you find like a lot of clarity in here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in a few days from now. Bye-bye.